Hello today and we're going to do, um, I don't know if it, I would call it a review because it's not, but I recently bought this card, what it is, it's a 3-in-1 USB 3.0 plus eSATA 3.0 plus, e plus SATA 3.0 to PCIe, there it is, that's the PCIe slot, um, PCI Express card adapter converter. ASM1042 ASM1051 chipset basically all that title <laughs> just for this little card and what it's supposed to do um, is boot up from the the SATA there the SATA port but for some reason the USB 3 port works I've not tried that yet but really ain't got no Drives, no external um, SATA drives, eSATA drives, or whatever to really try it, but it's not really important. But what I want it is for that um, SATA 3, you know, I want the high speed, but unfortunately, I can't get that to work because um, I've got a, s a solid state drive in here, and this motherboard only supports SATA 2.0, so. The speed is a little bit slower, and I've got a SATA 3 cable there. Um, but when I plug it in, I'm going to show you, it just doesn't work. As I'm going to pause the video a minute. As we see now, I've got it um, card in there, in the um, PCIe slot, with a SATA 3 cable connected up to the solid state drive. Um, nothing wrong with the solid state drive, it works because it's connected into the SATA 2 port there, I've just took out so I know it works and I've also tried additional drive like the DVD writer and it still doesn't work, so well, this is what happens when I switch it on everything comes on and we'll look at the screen so the first first thing we see is the BIOS screen it's a bit dull but then it comes up with this saying there's no detection so I do not understand why it's not working. Um, please feel free if there's something I've got to do as I've installed all the drivers. Um, but I think that only installs for the USB 3. But there's no additional drivers to install, I don't think. But you shouldn't have to install drivers um, for the BIOS. Sure, not the BIOS, for the boot and for this stuff, for the... Well, the SATA should be its own controller, surely. Um, so I do not know. Is there anything I've got to do in the BIOS settings or what? Because I have no idea why this doesn't work. Um, if you can tell me what I have to do, please feel free. But the thing is, it could work in another computer because I've ordered another. I've, I've, I've ordered another card, so. It's a USB, also a USB um, free and SATA free. A little bit more dearer, but I uh, suppose this this only costs what ten quid, and you know that is pretty poor if it doesn't work, doesn't do its job. So that's not good at all. Um, waste of money, in my opinion. Expect things to work when you pay money for it. Doesn't matter how cheap or how expensive it is. You expect it to work. Um, that's not good enough. Because I did have an. I've got another SATA three card. Well, it's not. It's found out. I think it's actually SATA two. But I tried it, and it's no difference in performance from the motherboard. So that's why I've had that for a long time. So that was when I bought it when I needed SATA anyway. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment um, if you've got any ideas what I have to do. Thank you for watching this video. Till next time, and goodbye.